Good morning, welcome back to the workshop. It's utterly fantastic to have you here. Of course, we're working on hammers today. Today is grind number two. I've got a lot of grinding to do and it's gonna be a lot of fun having you here along the way. So you remember yesterday I loaded up my second batch of vinegar treated hammers. So they're in there, I'm about to pull them out, put them on the table, start grinding flat faces. I should mention real fast because I forgot to in yesterday's video, vinegar treating the hammers I really do think seem to work pretty well. I think it made it a lot easier to then grind through the scale. I did some that were vinegar coat, vinegar treated and some that weren't. So it worked pretty well. I think I'm gonna be doing that in the future. Certainly gonna be doing it for the rest of the hammers. What just happened is, is I'm here grinding, and this belt is a little old, I've done a number of hammer faces with it, and I'm starting to think that it's about time to, uh, to have to go ahead and switch it out, and one of the things that terrifies me the most is belts exploding. This happens because you use the belt really hard, like eventually the seam goes, it busts, it explodes, hopefully you change belts before that happens, and usually you do, I'm running it so hard, the belt just exploded, and it's scared the daylights out of me. I'm here, stood at the grinder, grinding away. Here's the, uh, here's the one half of the belt, and there's the other. But I'm here, grinding away. Boom! I jump back in fright. I have this, this fan is, was over. This fan was here, I jump back in fright. I trip over the fan. I end up oh, laid down here. Head in the puddle, soaking wet, hammer dropped on the floor. Ugh. I do not like grinding belts exploding. Top tip, change your grinding belts a little more often. I'm reading through the comments on the video I just posted where we put up this Texas A&M flag. Of course, Texas A&M and, uh, and, uh, Hey Blake, what's the name of the other one? I forgot it real fast. Austin? Texas, uh, the Texas, Austin, what? Texas University? Texas University, it's, it's like a... Yeah, rivalry. Rivalry? For the past like hundred some years, yeah. Hundred years of rivalry. Apparently somebody's gonna try and send me the rival university's flag. It is really dusty in there and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna stop for lunch. Got a ham and cheese sandwich. I did not plan my meals well enough to eat something that I cooked this morning. Or last night. So ham and cheese sandwich it is, which is, you know, it's kind of healthy, right? I won't mention the milk chocolate cookie I have behind here. I regret to say, but I ate the whole cookie. I told myself I would only eat half. I've been reading some comments about the vinegar that I was using, and as well I've been thinking about it while I've been, you know, experimenting between those that have, have uh, been put in the vinegar and those that are not. Earlier I said it worked great. Now, a lot of you guys suggested that I was using the wrong kind of vinegar. Whenever I heard about people putting stuff in vinegar, I just thought, oh, whatever the supermarket has that's called vinegar is vinegar. Apparently it isn't. Apparently it all comes in varying concentrations, and I might have bought some, like, malt vinegar maybe? I have no clue what I bought. I just went to the supermarket and bought vinegar. Apparently that's not the right way. Apparently one can get much stronger concentrations of white vinegar, and that'll strip the scale off much easier. So, I do think it helped. Um, there's a big difference between grinding the ones where I just chipped off the scale, and grinding the ones where I put it in the vinegar and then chipped off the scale. Much more difficult to grind through that initial little bit of scale without that uh, 24 hours in the vinegar. So I certainly think it helped, but your wonderful comments and suggestions letting me know that I probably wasn't using the right dilution of vinegar have indeed led me to conclude that, oh my goodness, it would be unbelievably good with a proper concentration of vinegar. I never thought that part of my career would be talking about vinegar for two and a half minutes. No, not even two and a half minutes did I think that this would be part of what I would have to do to make a living. Let's do some work. Partly because I just want to avoid uh, 
having to do some work for an extra 30 seconds, and partly because it's relevant, you'll notice I'm wearing my, uh, my welding jacket here. Uh, why? It's because when those belts snap, they really hurt if you have a t-shirt, and there are sparks and stuff in the vicinity that I want to avoid getting on my arms. I know, it makes it seem like I'm being a little girl. Grinding isn't fun as it is. I like to make it as little unfun as possible, and part of that is layering up with this. You've of course seen that I'm wearing a respirator and hearing protection, and I'm listening to some stuff in my ears too, so it... It evens it out. It's actually not that bad, to be honest. I get to listen to some interesting podcasts, and it's like Netflix and chill, except it's not, you know, I'm making hammers, but, you know, it's horrible. So I've just finished grinding all of the flat faces to 120 grit. Pleased with how all that has gone. That is a lot of grinding, and I thought that I'd be a little more tired from it. You know, there's a lot of kind of, a lot of hand effort. But it wasn't that bad. So, now what I'm gonna do, as you guys kindly uh, reminded me to do in the YouTube comments, is I need to make sure that I neutralize any of the vinegar, the acid, that is left on it. So I went and I bought a bucket. And I'm going to take some bicarbonate soda. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Sam is going to be in here. Blah, 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 blah. Sam is going to be here in the workshop too. So I can't wait to uh, bring you guys along for that. It's been a lot of fun. Surprisingly, I'm still having fun, despite the fact that I've just done the exact same process 76 times. But I will see you tomorrow where we do the exact same process another 76 times. And I'm going to try and make another cool video out of it. It's going to be great having Sam here. Please go watch these two videos. Just click on one, like right now. Right now. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe too, because it's going to be worth it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.